pay doctors more to treat Medicaid patients, and they'll treat more Medicaid patients. That's the conclusion of a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Each state decides how it'll fund Medicaid, spending money from the federal government and its own coffers. New Jersey doctors are paid only half as much for Medicaid as for Medicare. The Kaiser Family Foundation says that's the sixth lowest ratio in the country. In a two-year trial, the federal government paid the full amount needed to pay doctors the same rate for treating both Medicaid and Medicare patients. Well, the trial's over now. And even though more Medicaid patients were treated, New Jersey has decided not to spend state money to continue reimbursing Medicaid at higher levels. Joining us is the director of the Rutgers Center for State Health Policy, Joel Cantor. Thank you very much for being with us. Sure. First, the study. Were you surprised by the results? I was, I was surprised. Uh, the the uh, Medicaid practices uh, increased the, uh, the number of patients they were willing to see. Patients had an easier time getting appointments when the rate bump was in place, when the rates were higher uh, across the 10 states in the study. Uh, it, since it was a short-term experiment, I didn't necessarily expect doctors to respond because it'll go away, and it has, in fact, gone away. Did increasing reimbursements rate actually increase the availability of doctors who are caring for Medicaid patients in New Jersey? We had a pretty high rate to begin with, right? Well, the, the, uh, the study tested uh, the availability of appointments among doctors who are already on the Medicaid rosters and the Medicaid lists. Uh, so what this study shows is that it was easier to get an appointment. It doesn't necessarily mean more doctors are, are coming in to serve uh, Medicaid, but that those who do serve it serve more patients. The states decided not to put extra funds into Medicaid reimbursements. Should it? Well, the data clearly show that it makes appointment availability easier. Uh, I think, though, it's important to point out that compared to the other nine states in the country, even before the rates went up, New Jersey was doing pretty well. 70% uh, of patients who called uh, could get an appointment. It went up to 80% uh, with the uh, added uh, uh, reimbursement, but it wasn't horrible to begin with, so the state has choices to make and where to, what priorities to use to fund any, with any available new money. Uh, and while this is important, there are lots of other priorities as well. Uh, and what are those priorities? What does the study not address? Well, the study only looked at the availability of primary care appointments. Uh, within Medicaid, there's also difficulties finding specialists when they're needed. Uh, a couple of years ago, the state did go ahead and raise the payment rates for behavioral health, mental health uh, providers, uh, where access was a particular problem. Uh, so it does what it can with, with the funds available. Uh, you know, if it had the money, I'm sure uh, certainly the providers in the state, uh, the health plans would be delighted to pay providers more to make more uh, care available. All right, Joel Cantor, thank you very much for being with us. My pleasure.